right, what's going on guys? So, you've all been asking for it. Here's the video. How to establish the entry and the exit. Okay, what's good guys? So, here we have it. The entries and exits of this strategy. Now, a lot of people are probably gonna be interested in this video, all right? But there are th certain things that we need to consider before we can just blindly go into trades. Now, a question, a common question that I do get across the streams is, Tino, I've got X amount of profit and I'm struggling to close it. I don't know what my exit point is. I understand the guys who are questioning, you know, where should I enter? But the one thing that's been playing on my mind is, is people are asking, when should they exit? I mean, guys, the basis of this strategy and all strategies across the world, all right, everyone's trying to understand how to make money from trading. So if you've put yourself into a position where you've actually realized a return and you're sitting there scratching your head thinking, how do I close it? Something's not right there. Yeah? So let's understand what is a confirmation of an entry. Well, let's look at the pattern. So this is Bitcoin's current pattern that we have been trading for the past week. So Monday was over here. That was the M formation that effectively started on the 21st, 20th, sorry. Came down and formed level one. Dropped down again, formed level two. Dropped down again, formed level three, peak formation in this zone. Okay. Now, price coming out of the W formation is the first thing that we want to see. Why? Because market makers have obtained enough liquidity to the downside to trap retail traders to go short. They now need to realize a return. Remember, market makers need to bank a profit. Yeah, they have to realize a profit on their positions as well. And the way they do that is they move out of the zone, opposite direction of the initial pattern. Okay, and they do it aggressively as well. Look at this, spike to the low, spike, spike, and then shift out of the zone. Retrace, continuation up, test the 50 day, 200 day in sight. All right, so what would you constitute as an entry on this chart? Well, let's look at it like this. We're waiting for a pattern to play out, all right? But what's important is we need to determine whether or not the pattern is going to be successful when we effectively see it being completed. So let's go look at previous patterns. Well, hold on a second. Did you think I was going to tell you what the entry and exit was on this video? <laughs> Oh man, that's financial advice right there, guys. I can't tell you that. All right. So let's zoom out. How funny was that? Cool. Let's look at this. You can see a W formation here. Now, granted, my chart is full of lines because we're catching bigger patterns within patterns. Okay. But if you zoom out on this chart, you can see a bigger pattern right here. All right. So we're going to talk about that pattern. Right. So you've got a W formation. Okay, you see price rising, retrace, and it's starting to work the zone. Whilst it's retracing, it's actually formed another W formation, all right? We understand the pattern as being the first leg, which is the second leg of the W, retracing down and continuation to the upside. You can also have a pattern without it coming from a W. You can actually draw this as a pattern. Look, come up to a point in the chart and say to yourself, okay, have we got a low? Yep, we've got a low here. Just bring things up for you. Um, the best way for me to do that is this. Okay, yep, so you've got a low here. Low, rise. Retrace. Yeah. Continuation to the upside. Your entry point would be at that high there. Now, granted, they would have thrown you off here. But you would have had the fundamental... Um, the, the principles of this strategy that you want price to retrace back to the 50 day first and then come up before you accept that this is a valid entry because this was a shakeout. There was a stop hunt rise drop and then form the support at the 50 day moving average and bounced away from it. Okay, so the criteria is for an entry on the pattern, you're waiting for price to retrace back to a moving average. The closer it is to the moving average, the more information you're going to have. When price pulls up, okay, you want to see more candles. Look closer, closely, closer. <laughs> 
Look closer here. Can you see it? One, two, three, four. Or you just count these. One, two, three moves to the upside. One, two, three moves to the upside there. All right? They are confirming the zone. You are effectively waiting for price to bounce off the 50 day. Now, there are various ways to trade this pattern. You can have a safety entry, advanced entry, and then just the elite entry right there. All right, so you're effectively entering on the confirmed test of the 50 day moving average. All right, you would have to be proficient in finding this pattern and trading this pattern correctly before you start looking at the elite ent entry point. All right, because this could actually break down further before it goes back up. So when you're looking for an entry as such on the pattern itself, what you're waiting for is you draw your pattern out. You see is price at the 50 day check right there. Is price now showing activity from a market maker? Are we seeing three moves, like three pushes? Because ultimately what you need to be aware of, okay, is once you've established that the market maker's intention has been revealed, as it, closely, as it comes closer towards the breakout point right here, you are then getting ready to ride out and move further to the upside. Now this pattern here is usually great at working out what level you're going to be in or what to expect from um from price breaking out of a w right so look the w formation is here right it happened there w there rise retrace back to the 50-day moving average all right it consolidated this is where the market makers make their money that's where you want to be. You want to be in the area when they're trying to earn money off their trades, all right? Because they're going to want to get back into that scent of my, that, that mindset <clears throat> of wanting to make more money. So rise, retrace, coming out of the W, testing the 50 day, level one, rise up. There's your entry there. That is your entry right there. You're looking for confirmation of market makers behavior at the 50 day moving average. Here's another form of confirmation, right? Price comes and tests the 50 day pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low. Yeah. Stopping volume. You can see that it's coming out. Ready? One, two, three pushes out. Completely breaks it. Remember, you've got to consider what's been going on behind the scenes. They've been building positions in this area. All right, they need to shift out of the zone. They did it in a fast move to the upside here. They've pulled price back, right? They've tested intention. They've built previous orders here. Another opportunity for them to get some more longs at lower prices. And then they shift out of the zone and move completely away. Then we have the second, effectively the second level as such. So price drops. First time it doesn't really do anything. And then it comes back, spikes the high and then pulls back. But that second pullback right there, all right? effectively tells you what their intention is now the first trick of this move down here excuse me losing my words the first clue that the market maker favored higher prices is what the big red candle now this strategy here the red green candle red candle formation so it, you know it works out really well and if you find one on a higher time frame then boy you're going to be stacked up okay because what happens here is the market maker induces guys to go long and he's building shorts at a high possible price, the highest possible price, right? Then in the second candle, he shifts out of the zone. He triggers those short orders that he's been building, uses the liquidity for the guys who went long in here to take out their stops. And we also have a railroad track right here where the highs and the lows are effectively pretty much the same. The lows weren't the same, but the highs were. So that's what the criteria of the railroad tracks, okay? They bring price all the way down and then they form a pin bar at the 50 day moving average. They just literally tap the 50 day if you can look closely, all right? And then they shift out of the zone. They recover this previous red candle. You guys have seen the amount of times that red candles get recovered as long as they are close towards price and any of the moving averages. And there's your move. You have your move to the upside. So what constitutes of a confirmation, can sorry, confirmation entry? Pretty simple. Wait for price to come from a move Price has deviated away from the moving averages. We need price to come back and test the moving average. Don't make any entries on this because this is probably how a lot of people are getting burnt out on the pattern. 
They see this and they keep, they deem this to be a pullback. Always refer back to the 50-day moving average on the hourly to determine whether or not the pullback is valid. It's the 50-day, one-hour time frame. All right? The 15-minute, 50-day is the 13-day EMA on the hourly. That's not enough. All right? Granted, it could actually ride away all the way from there, which it does. It, well, it looks like it did that here. But... They were setting people up. They trapped people up because they knew people were going to be trading the continuation to the upside from that high. Yeah. There were guys that were range trading this. Can you see the range? If we zoom in. Can you see the range in there? This will be interesting. If we draw a range. All right. There's the high. There's the low. All right. So guys have drawn the high, drawn the low, okay? And they thought, right, let's wait. So they got triggered there, bang, and then they brought price back in. And they thought, right, okay, I was wrong on that because my stops have been here. I'm going to wait and see if I can set some more limit orders up here. They did just that. They spiked them, pulled it back. Got them pretty angry. Spiked them again, pulled it back. Now they're all sitting in red. They're hoping for a breakout. Bang, the breakout has occurred. Happy days. I'm in the good trade. Breakout's ready. Let's go. They move price up, they move price up. Now everybody's going long because they think, okay, if it's been holding this zone for a while, the general consensus that price is rising, okay, I think I'm in a long trade. Let's ride it and jump in. So volume starts to get a little bit hectic in this area here. And then before you know it, market maker is satisfied with the amount of contracts that he's obtained, short that is, at higher prices. And before you know it, he opens this candle right here, smacks it down, completely takes out all the guy's shorts, sorry, stops. And then he goes even further down to the 50 day moving average. He triggers all the guys who went short here, triggers their orders, brings price back up and continuation to the upside. Do you understand the importance of realizing the psychology behind what's going on in a simple zone, in a simple pattern, which is going to give you that statistical edge, all right, so that you can actually ride these moves as and when they happen? Yeah. Now, what constitutes an exit? Back to the same story again. Price comes up, price comes up. From this point, what you would deem as an ex exit, okay? Firstly, is you look at where you are in terms of the moving averages. What is price doing at this point here? Pin to the high, pin to the high, pin to the high, pin to the high again. They're starting to just take out orders from the highs. They favor lower prices, all right? So your first signal would be if price were to break down any of these two moving averages and close below it. That was your signal, all right? If you look here, that was your signal to close and get out, all right? Doesn't matter if this went back up again, okay? Your first signal to get out was there, you should take it, okay? Now, if you were to re-enter after this candle confirmed, okay, you wouldn't enter long again, no, because you haven't seen any confirmation back down to the 50-day moving average. So that's how you protect yourself. Could you enter short? Granted, you could enter short, why? Because price has broken down and it hasn't visited the 50-day yet. So it needs to regulate. So price gets pushed up, market makers make the retail traders believe one thing is happening against the other. Look at this pattern formation. Red candle triggers the shorts. Green candle allows the longs to take out all the guys who went short at the same time. Build shorts for the market maker at higher prices. Before you know it, they collapse price, they collapse it, spike the high, pull it back, spike the high, pull it back, come back and test the 50 day moving average. And what do you have? another move to the upside. Now, each move from the pattern isn't guaranteed to last a long time. And that's what you have to be accepting of. It's not gonna last a long time. Take what you can from it, which then leads to the next point about exits that you should always, always pay yourself. Now, granted, if we were to look at this on a, for in this light of the pattern itself, okay? You would have entered on this, on this break here, okay? And it would have taken you out after a few moments, well, after a couple of hours or so. But what do we see? We need to see a test of the 50 day and it did just that, All right? So then you have a rise, retrace, continuation. You could trade that pattern. So there's your first pattern right there. Retrace, continuation to the upside. There we are. Go across from the previous high. Wait for confirmation from the 50 day moving average. Pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low. Bouncing up, notable volume coming in, candle breaks out. You can even put a limit order there. 
trigger it, off it goes. Yeah? So just remember, again, when you're looking for a confirmation of an entry from this pattern, wait for price to come back from the first leg to the upside, wait for price to pull back to the moving averages, that being the 50 day, okay? Wait for it to happen. You don't wanna be adventurous yet. Get proficient in finding this setup. As price starts to come up, you're looking for you know three candles that are gonna be looking at pushing price out of the zone. One, two, three. You know market maker's intention is present, all right? When price breaks out of this area here, granted it can sometimes pull back to shake you off, all right? But give yourself two hours. If your break is on the candle of, sorry, is on the break of this line, give yourself two hours. If you haven't realized a profit, get out, okay? Then allow price to make its move, make its move. Use the five and the 13 day EMA as the signal for when to get out. If price drops and closes below the five, get ready. If it closes below the 13, completely close your order, all right? But it depends on how long you wanna sit through um, as a, a drawdown as such or how much money you wanna put leave on the table. The idea guys is to get paid, all right? It's not about how long you can stay in the trade for, it's about how frequently you pay yourself from being in trades. That's the key to it guys, okay? Now I hope that clarifies a lot about confirmation of entries and exits, all right? Now granted, you know, we can look at Bitcoin if you want. We can look at it, okay? But we are actually, well price is not actually moving on the platform because they've shut the platform just to get everything set up, regulate the spreads, do what they normally do. But we are effectively waiting for Bitcoin to pretty much print the same pattern. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, so I hope that helps.